Hi, I'm Naomi with The Naomi Butler Show, and in my previous video, you saw a slideshow of some of the photos of the process of packaging my art for shipping. And so today I'm going to explain that process to you, and hopefully that will help you. At first, what I did is I used glassine paper, and you don't tape it directly to the acrylic I think it's good for acrylic or oil paintings, either one. But I wrap around the front of the painting to the back side and include the area that I've added paint on the back of the, the canvas, the back side. So it's wrapped around and then I fold it over and tape that with the packaging tape. You don't have to put glassine paper over the whole back of the canvas, just the painted area. And so you'll see a, a photo of that on that in that previous video. So the glassine goes over it. And it really helps because if it has heat during shipping or just because acrylic is plastic, you want something that will not stick to the acrylic. So this works really, really well. And then I use large bubble wrap. I didn't have a wider roll, which I prefer to use for the larger paintings. I did not have one of those on hand, so I had to use the 12 inch wide. And as you could tell, I overlapped that and wrapped it around the painting. The bubble wrap itself, I put the flat side down next to the painting itself, not the bubble side. That way it does not indent into the painting. And I used the packaging tape to tape the bubble wrap to the bubble wrap. The sides, as you could tell, I had a little bit more so I could fold them over and then tape that bubble wrap. So it's protected all around with the bubble wrap. And then I get corner protectors and I was already at U-Haul getting the large TV box. And so I got the corner protectors there and depending on how wide your area is on the corners that you've added bubble wrap, it may be a little difficult to get them in place but just kind of maneuver them into place, tape them so that they don't move because they'll come out of place if it's kind of thick. And as you saw, I put them on all four corners. You want to have corner protectors on any art you ship. And I tape them to that bubble wrap so that they would not move. I send mounting putty with a copy of the instructions so that the customer can use that putty on the back side, on the bottom back side of the painting as it leans against the wall. That way the bottom part holds the painting in place because with air conditioning, with people opening doors, the air and the wind can make it shift. So this holds it in place. I also send hanging hardware and that way it makes it easy for the client to be able to hang it immediately. They don't have to go somewhere to buy hanging hardware. And I also add my business card, a couple of other note cards that have images of previous paintings that I have painted. And that's a thank you gift. And then I also add a thank you note. And so the thank you note is also inside the Ziploc bag with the business card and the note cards. And then that's taped to the bubble wrap. And then I add flat cardboard. And I cut it so it's a little bit larger than the area that I've already put together. And then I tape it all around with that packaging tape, holding everything together better. That's probably an overstep that most people may not do, but that's okay. All of us are different. We all package things different. I just want to make sure everything arrives safe and sound. And then I add other foam protectors because I've got this area that this large cardboard is taped around and on two of the sides as you can see in the previous video images I have those foam protectors taped on this side and this side and so when I put this inside the smaller box of this double TV box I will put that in and the area on the bottom of that inside TV box, I put other foam protectors, and then as I put the painting in on the top, I have foam protectors. That way I've got it on the sides, the bottom, and the top. I hope that 
I hope you understand that. I hope it's not so confusing, but there are foam protectors on all sides of that inserted painting with the cardboard. Okay, so now I've put everything in to the smaller box and then I take the smaller box and put it inside the large TV box. And that way it's all double protected everywhere. You've got the foam protectors, you've got extra cardboard, it's double walled protection. And then that way it, it's just, I feel safer about it. And then you can see how much duct tape I used all around, especially where you've got the box that fits into, the smaller box that fits into the larger box. You've got that area around it that needs to be taped. And that way it seals it. You don't have water. Who knows what might happen during shipping. So I tape it really good. And then I also, I also put tape around the words that might reflect a TV box. And that way somebody during shipping doesn't think it's a TV box. Sorry, my head covering kind of falls into my eyes. Even though this was for a 24 by 30, which is not a large painting, it still worked better to use this larger TV box. Because when I started with a medium size, it was not going to work with my process and everything I add to it. The medium size was too small. I have shipped two 36 by 48 and one 48 by 48 inch within the same box using the large TV box and using this process and they all arrived together and safe. And so for smaller paintings, of course, I use less materials. It's not the same process. A lot, it's a lot simpler and I'll show that another day. I hope you enjoyed watching the previous video and learning about the process today for shipping larger paintings. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Naomi Butler Show, and ring that notification bell to be notified of new videos as I publish them. I am always trying to come up with good content for artists and for other people to, to be able to use. So hopefully this all helps. I really appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next one. I am not sure what the next one will be, but we'll see. Thank you so much. See you later.